morning everybody it's Saturday morning and I'm about three and a half weeks out with my Russell clients and I'm a few days out from my denture fit experience um, I'm loving this stuff it's really really great it really does make a difference in the comfort level of my bottom dentures uh, the only thing I didn't expect which I didn't really think about was that because I'm still healing I have um, open sockets so when I put it in there and I did the impression in there to get it to fit right the silicone went into the little sockets like it should um, but it left little nubs in there that were making my dentures not fit right I was having rubbing in some areas and just really uncomfortable for a couple days so what I did find out is I use this little tool to adjust my dentures just because like when the notch was in the wrong place and things like that I, it's this little battery operated nail file and it's really great so I s tried picking that stuff out of there and it wouldn't come out so with that nail file I was able to just kind of sand it down it's just a little sander and I sand down the trough area where those nubs were and now they fit like a dream so um Every day is a little bit different. Um, some days they fit really great and I love them and they're perfect. Other days I am irritated because nothing I do makes a difference and they're rubbing or my mouth is sore or it's, it's a daily situation where my gums are constantly changing with the healing. I'm still doing the salt water rinses. I'm still um, drinking my Kangen water. I'm still doing everything I possibly can to get my gums to heal up well. Um, with the denture fit, I had a really good conversation with their customer service. Um, when I got it, the primer bottle was pretty much empty. When I put the applicator in, it didn't even like swell up all the way. It was just enough to get a little bit in the trough down there. So I called them and I guess, I mean, it had evaporated in the bottle or something during shipping and they're sending me out some new stuff. Um, the conversation I had was really, really great. They gave me some information about applying it to the bottom dentures, which was awesome, and I'll share with you guys in another video. They um, also said if you're going to use adhesive with their dentures and the denture fit, that you want to use the powder. All the feedback they've gotten with denture creams is it doesn't work. So the cream doesn't adhere to the silicone, so there's it just it it just doesn't work. So he said powder. Powder is the best one that they've come up with so far. I might try the strips and let them know how that works. I'm not sure, but since that stuff kind of turns into a gluey substance, I don't know if it's gonna be the same as the cream or as the powder. We'll find out. But um so with that, um, that little file has been amazing, and I I love the denture fit stuff. That's it's really great for people that have Russell Klein's that don't really have a consistent way to go do relines, or um, for people that are in between, or with their immediates, or waiting, or whatever the situation is. I really love the stuff, and you get what you pay for. So I think it's a really great product, and I'm really impressed so far. The only thing I'm not certain on is. If you mess up, how do you get this stuff out of there? I mean, it is like cement. It's hard to get out. And I love the fact that it would stay on forever. But if you mess up and you need to get it out, I don't know. I mean, I, I got pretty frustrated in the bathroom trying to pick that stuff out and finally got that sander out. But um, for someone who doesn't have one of those, it, I could... I mean, it could be hours of just picking little pieces of the silicone out. So I might ask them about that when I talk to them next week about the product review and see what they say, if there's, you know, any little tricks or I'm not sure if anybody has suggestions, uh, please let me know. I tried putting them on hot water, let them soak for a few. I tried all different types of things and nothing was working. So anyway, um, if you do get one of those files and use them for adjusting on your dentures, the one thing I can say is wait. If you've got an issue with your dentures one day and you're thinking about filing down a little spot or something, don't. Wait. Wait a week. Wait to see if it's a consistent or a persistent problem before you go and alter your dentures because I've noticed that my gums are changing every single day. So in one area where I think it's killing me, um, the next day that area is not bugging me anymore and it's a different problem so definitely wait don't take one of those things to your dentures right off the bat um, you know try it out on certain things it's pretty harmless but um, just 
use some common sense with it. Don't go, you know, balls to the wall with it to your dentures if you don't have to, because, you know, for me, I would need Russell to make me a whole new set or, you know, a top or a bottom if I, um, kind of went bonkers with it. So just wait, because I noticed that one day, you know, I'll have an issue down here and then the next day I've got an issue up here. You know, it's just, it's different. So just be cautious with using one of those things. Um, I love it. I think it's great and it's really helped me out in a lot of situations, but just use your head. So um, anyway, I will do another video based on, you know, when I get the new denture fit stuff and when I talk to them about removal and things like that. Um, and kind of go from there but what I'm noticing is you know after my three week mark this week I've had a lot more issues with sore spots or rubbing or shifting or whatever and it is just due to my gums changing and healing so I've noticed that um, I do a lot better if I sleep with them out so the last two nights I slept with them out and I noticed that the daytime wear is a lot more comfortable because it gives my gums a break um, and that's made a huge difference for me. I didn't think that I'd be able to sleep with them out, but I have, and it does get better. <laughs> um, I had a lady ask me the other day who my dentist was um, because she liked my teeth. And I told her they were dentures and she, she, she couldn't believe it. So that made me feel really good that, you know, they don't look like fake teeth to everybody except for me. Um, but I'm I'm still in love with them. I still, you know, I'm a huge Russell Klein supporter. Just that guy's a lifesaver for me. And um, I love the color still. It's perfect. For those of you guys who are asking me about the lipstick shade or if it gets stuck on my dentures, um, I use Sephora All Day Wear. It's a matte, um, kind of a, a stain. And I also use a Kat Von D matte over it and a setting powder just so it does not come off. Um, it doesn't come off on what I drink. It doesn't come off with my hands. Um, it's stuck on there. Um, I was born in the country, raised in the city, moved back to the country. So I look like this all day long, but I'm out fishing and doing whatever and it doesn't come off all day. So might as well look good while you're doing it. Anyway, um, that's kind of where I'm at. Every day is a challenge, and today it's bone spurs. Um, so just uh, loving the denture fit, loving my Russell clients. Take my advice with that little sander. Don't go balls with it, or you're gonna have trouble. Um, get comfortable with how to use it. Do your nails, I don't know. I've never had fake nails, so I don't know what it's like. But um, just, just be careful with it. I don't want to tell people to go and use one of them and have there be, you know, issues with it or whatever. I'd feel really bad if somebody went and took one of those sort of dentures and kind of made a huge mistake. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll definitely update people um, next week when the new product arrives and things like that. But I'm still loving the denture fit and everything. So just uh, anybody got any tricks on getting those bone spurs out? I'd love to hear it because they're driving me crazy. I'm coming in every which direction. So... Anyway, have a great weekend and I will post another video when I can.